Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Gina and I have a fun thrifting video for you guys this week. And actually I'm really surprised that I have one so soon. Um, I used to do them like once a month and lately it's been like once every two months just because it's been summer and I haven't been thrifting as much. I always slow down in the summertime when it comes to thrifting. And I think it goes back to years ago when my son was still in elementary school or high school and I would take the summers off. Well, first of all, you should know that I used to do resale, like eBay resale. So, um, and, I, and I do kind of still do, I kind of got back into it again. But in the summer times when he was off school, I would take I would still do it, but not as much. I was still secondhand shop for resale, but I slowed it down in the summertime. So now it's like back to school again, and he's in college now, so it's not the same situation, but I still, I kind of get that feeling like, oh, I need to start thrifting again, <laughs> like full throttle thrifting again. So. We have been, we have been thrifting more and I have been finding some things and I want to use these things and I want to show you them before I actually put them to use. So what I do now when I thrift is I mostly, I am shopping for planty stuff like plant related things. So I'm looking for planters, pots. I'm looking for um, like plant stands. And, and then in addition to going to thrift stores, we also do estate sales and we have been doing that. And I have found some super cute things. Now I am not supposed to be buying more planters because I told you, I think it was the very last thrifting video. I said that I have so many planters because Diane so nicely, one of you guys, Diane, <laughs> hi Diane, sent me a ton of planters. And I, I have plenty, but I told you guys that if I do come across some that I just can't live without, that I just absolutely love, that I will pick them up. And wouldn't you know it, I found quite a few <laughs> that I just couldn't live without. So I am going to show you those. And in addition, I thought I could show you. So besides looking for the planty stuff, I'm also still looking for eBay resale stuff because if you didn't know, <laughs> My husband, Derek, and I, we actually have a second channel and it's solely dedicated to thrifting. And well, we've been bad and we haven't uploaded any videos recently, mostly because it's been summertime and we haven't been thrifting as much, but we're thrifting again. And I have picked up a few things for resale for my eBay shop. And if you wanna check that out, um, I'll link my eBay shop name in the description and you can check out maybe there's something there maybe something i'm going to show you here is something you'd be interested in or maybe stuff that's already listed on there you can you can check it out i've got some i think some pretty nice things and i've noticed ebay is picking up again people are shopping again i'm selling sweaters winter clothing so yeah it's that time of year i think everybody i don't think it's just myself that slows down with shopping in the summertime. I think everybody does. And then once fall hits, winter hits, you're back in that shopping mode. So yeah, well, let me show you what I've picked up. I have to grab it, hang on. Okay, so this is, these are just some little extra fun things I thought I'd show you because I, I'm gonna show you um, all the planters I picked up through the month. We're gonna do that, that's that's the main thing. But this is just, just some fun extra because, you know, part of the, most fun part of going to the thrift store is looking for clothing, at least for me, because I love clothes. <laughs> I love clothes, but not, you know, clothes are expensive, but you can find some really nice things secondhand. And um, yeah, yeah, you can do that. So, so I wanna show you just some really cute, fun things. And I'm gonna show you, and also, this isn't just like a showing you what I've picked up at the thrift store. We're actually gonna go to the thrift store. And I went to the thrift store, I think it was last Friday. Today is Monday. So last Friday, I took you guys along with me thrifting. We're gonna do that together. We're gonna look at 
we're going to look at some things at the Goodwill, and I'm going to show you what I picked up on that shopping trip. And yeah, so, but first, let's, let's just look at some cute clothes. Okay, so this is the first thing I got. So this is by a brand called, isn't this cute? This is Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer. And I got this on the shopping, the same shopping trip that I did, that I shopped with you guys, except I didn't take you guys around to look at the clothing. But I couldn't pass this up. Now, I haven't been buying much in the way of eBay re resale lately, and mainly because my thrift store, my local thrift store, has really jacked up the prices, and it just isn't worth it. But I think they're coming back down in price now. I think they're seeing that people, I mean, the, the store is so packed with stuff, like overflowing with clothing and knickknacks and all this stuff, all the departments. So I think they're seeing that people are turned off by their high prices and they're starting to come down again. At least I'm hoping that's what's going on. So this was only $4.99. And this sweater like retails, I'm not sure exactly what it retails for. I would say $50 plus, maybe closer to $100. But this is a really good brand and I couldn't resist picking it up for resale. And the funny thing is when I, I also picked up a shirt for myself and it was just like a really cute, it's like a plaid, pink plaid flannel style shirt and it's by Universal Threads, I think that's the name, and that is sold at Target. So on the same day I got this for $4.99, this $50 plus, maybe $100 sweater for $4.99, I did get that, that Target shirt and it was $7.99. Like, <laughs> maybe they don't know the value of this sweater, I don't know. But it's just kind of just kind of weird. I just I just thought that was kind of weird, but it's okay because this is for resale, and I'd rather pay four ninety nine than seven ninety nine for resale on that. So the next thing I got is this super adorable. It's a, this is a dress, and it is a bird print. And you guys know if you've been here a while, you know how much I enjoy birds. I love my birds. I. It's one of my hobbies is feeding birds and bird watching. And this is by a brand called Bowden. And this one was only $5.99, which again, another decent price for resale. So this dress was, I'm sure this dress was retail probably over $100. This is an English brand. I used to buy this brand all the time for my son, except for kids, it was called Mini Bowden. Absolutely love, adorable clothing. I used to get it for my son. And I justified paying that higher price because I knew once he outgrew the, those clothes. I could just resale them, resell them on eBay. And that's what I did. So even though it's like a higher priced brand, I could still, I could make my, yeah, and a lot of times I would get more for it than what I paid. That's the wonders of eBay. <laughs> so the next thing are the, I got two. So it's two pairs. These are pants. Super beautiful, pretty floral print on these. And this is a really good brand called Peruvian Connections. And these pants were $7.99. And again, I'm sure these retailed over $100. I'm sure they did. I mean, I'm not positive, but pretty sure. Oops, almost lost our lighting here. <laughs> I'll leave that in for Rev. If you know, you know. <laughs> what I'm talking about, but okay, this is the same brand. I think it's, well, I'm sure I got it on the same day, got both pairs on the same day. So, but they're like two different sizes. Like this one is a small, a bit smaller. This is a US 16 and the other pair is a let's see here, US 14. So, but I'm sure it's the same person. Same price, $7.99. And yeah, so I will be listing these on eBay. 
So that's just some, just to show you some extra stuff, extra fun stuff, really cute stuff. Okay, now let's go shopping. I'm gonna take you shopping and, and then I'll show you what I picked up and then on that shopping trip and then I'll show you what I picked up through the month. All right, so right right off the bat, you can see there is a, there's Halloween. They have all the Halloween decorations out at the thrift stores and they are filled. And a lot of the thrift stores I've been to, actually all the thrift stores I've been to recently, they all have their Halloween decor out. And it's not just Halloween decor, it's like fall harvest, like autumn decor, just lots of fun stuff. So if you are in need of decorations, definitely check your thrift stores. Look for secondhand stuff. Save the environment buying secondhand. There's spooky, look at this cute spooky stuff. Yeah, lots of, lots of fun Halloween decorations. All right, so this here, this long planter caught my eye because I'm actually, I need one of these for my glory, my philodendron gloriosum. It has outgrown its planter and I thought this might work. It looks like it's uh, like an easy to put, like pouring the water in it. The only thing is no drainage. So I passed on that. I thought this was really cute. Those are cherries. And at first I thought it was like William's Sonoma because it says Sonoma but it's not, but it, I, that would be a really cute planter with the bright red cherries, just really whimsical. I love this, this is a hanging planter and I love the seafoam green color with the white bottom, it was $3.99. That would be super cute to hang a plant in. And I noticed there was a lot of planters at this thrift store, like not just planters, but they have just a lot of, a lot of stuff. But everywhere I looked, there were planty things. So it really worked out. See that pot back there with the yellow flower? I have one of those. I actually picked those up. I have two that I picked up on another thrifting adventure. I love that pot. Cute little, this kind of reminds me of the 80s duck or chicken decor that was so popular back then. And of course, how could I not look at this? A cat planter. It looks like someone drilled holes in the bottom, which kind of, for me, it ruins it because I like no drainage pots these days, like this one no drainage really cute are those poppies maybe red poppies and of course always a terracotta pot is always nice yeah i like that this one is partially terracotta and partially like a zebra animal print which was really cool i love the shape of these there were two of them and i was really surprised to see that they're ikea and they were $3.99 each. And then this was really cute. It's got the pink and it says Mama Bear. Just a cute little planter. And then another kind of Halloween themed. It looks like skulls. Very cool. No drainage, which is nice for me. And then this one, this is Mexican pottery. Now these are really expensive actually to purchase. I see them a lot at the plant shops, the nurseries, and it was $8.99. A little pricey for the thrift, but really nice, really nice. All right, wasn't that fun? <laughs> they had a lot of stuff. They had a lot of planters. And uh, I did, I only picked up one thing on that trip and you can let me know if there's anything you saw that you would have picked up. But the only thing I ended up bringing home was this adorable Halloween themed cat, black cat planter. And this was $1.99 and I just loved it. Now this is like not functional. <laughs> Did someone put, 
some of the hand, yeah. I, I think I see like remnants of soil in there. So someone used this, hung a plant. I am going to replace this, this string here with some macrame string and I will hang it. I will hang it up probably in this room, maybe in this room for the Halloween season. So yeah, I'm super excited that um, the thrifts are starting to put out the Halloween stuff. It's not that I buy a lot of Halloween things at the thrifts, but if I come across something really cute like this, uh, I'll grab it. But I have a ton of Halloween decor. I really don't need more, but yeah, a planter, I'll get another planter. All right, so that's all I got on that trip. And now let me show you what I got throughout the month. Now, this is one of my very favorite things. Look how adorable this is. So this is a planter. It is a no drainage planter, which is perfect. This is exactly what I, I'm really looking for these days because I like to use clear plastic pots for my plants. And then I just stick those into into this sort of container and this is a cover pot so it hides the ugly not really ugly but the ugly just plastic planter just kind of just kind of dresses it up a little bit so this was only $2.99 at the goodwill and i love it i love the color i love the scalloping this isn't something i see regularly this might even be kind of vintage Maybe not. I mean, not, not really. If it is vintage, it's from the 90s or early 2000s or maybe not even that old, but it's just not something I come across regularly, this style of planter. And I love it. And it's ceramic and it's fabulous. It's fabulous. <laughs> All right. So the next thing I picked up and I told you guys I love birds. Well, I could not resist this adorable goldfish planter again no drainage so i can take a four inch pot potted plant that's just in like one of my clear pots and just set it in here and it dresses it up and yeah i love that love that about this and it was a dollar 99 and this was at arc the arc thrift stores but yeah you guys know i love birds and let me just hold it still just so you can see. Super cute, right? Love it. Love it. All right, the next one I got. This one, I think, is definitely vintage. But, I mean, it's not that old. I don't think. I don't know. It's got, like, crazy. Look at how cute this is. So, just a, a nice probably like four inch size planter. Now, unfortunately, I wish whoever owned this before didn't do this, but they drilled a hole. So this was a no drainage pot and they drilled a hole in it. So even though it looks like it had drainage, it didn't, it just had that look, but they ruined it, <laughs> I think. They kind of ruined it. I was gonna like try and plug it up maybe with some heavy duty tape and then I'll use it as no drainage, but like maybe that Gorilla tape might work. I don't know, but I'm not going to use, use it as drainage with drainage. So $3.99 for this one at the Goodwill. And I just love, I love the, um, just like the, the patterning of this one, the alternating colors of pink, dark pink, white, very light pink, white, dark pink, white, light, pink and so on <laughs> but I just love it it kind of has kind of like a candy look to it I think I, I, I just think it's adorable so I got that one that was $3.99 okay and I have two planters left to share with you and they are they're so cute okay first one this definitely vintage I don't know what era the 50s 60s no drainage a little cute little chick and this one was three dollars at this little thrift store i go to 
a independent, more independent, a not-for-profit thrift store, which I love the not-for-profit thrift stores. Everything you spend there goes to a good cause. So I will use this for a succulent and it will be adorable, absolutely. And I think I know exactly which succulent I'm gonna put in there. And then another one equally adorable is this one. So this, also vintage, a cat. Again, I'm not sure what era that would be from. It was used for a plant. You can see there's soil in there. Has a little, I see, yeah, a little chip right here. That's okay. It gives it a little character. And this one was $3.99 at the Goodwill. And I love it. I think I'll put a cactus in this one. So a cactus, imagine a cactus sticking up. Because it's hard, I mean, this is so low. See how low it is in the back? So if I put a succulent in here, you won't be able to see it from the front. So I need something tall. So yeah, I'll put probably a cactus in there. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Do you see why I could not resist at least a couple of these things? <laughs> yeah, so those are all the planters I got. And then I did get one plant related thing at a, an estate sale and it would be this iron plant stand and the thing I love about it is not only it's just this really nice green color but it has butterflies you see the butterfly embossed there it has butterflies on it foliage flowers more butterflies I just think it's adorable. I think it's fabulous. I'm not using it yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on it. I haven't figured that out yet. It's just been sitting for like a month out in my dining room. But yeah, I will be using this and I love it. So that is the sort of things I am looking for when I go to the thrift store. So let me know if you guys have been thrifting recently. If so, what fun things you've picked up. And again, I'll link my eBay store if you maybe liked any of those clothes I showed you, if you wanna um, check those out and, or any of the too much stuff I already have, already had listed on eBay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a lot of stuff, so. So I guess that's going to be it. I guess that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, also, if you want, let me know if you saw anything on that thrift adventure together that you would have picked up. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, thanks guys. Thanks, thanks for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.